In order to troubleshoot variable frequency drives and inverters, you need to understand the power flow through those devices. I have a schematic diagram of a variable frequency drive shown on my screen. I do not have the control circuitry that drives the transistors on the output, just to keep it clean and simple for power flow. This unit is fed with three phase power, very typical. You can feed them with single phase power, we'll be covering that later. On the output side, we have a squirrel cage induction motor, very typical. And there are three sections to the drive, or three main sections when you're talking about the power. You have the input section, which is known as the converter section. We supply the converter section with AC current, and it uses six diodes to convert it to DC current. I'm going to explain how they work in the next video. The next section is called the DC link or DC bus. You'll hear different terminology on that one. And what happens in the DC bus is we filter out current and voltage pulses. So this device up on this DC plus rail, we'll call it, it's called a choke and it prevents current surges from damaging the front end of the drive. When you first power it up, the capacitors tend to act as a short circuit. As a matter of fact, uh, they, they do appear to be a short circuit, so current will rush into them and it may damage the front, front end. So the commutation choke, is what it's known as, filters out that surge. And it filters out sudden um, shocks and disturbances from the load, sudden load changes and causing the current to, uh, to uh, spike. It will prevent that. These three devices here are capacitors. They're connected in parallel with the DC bus and they filter out voltage ripple. And current is stored in those capacitors. So you have, uh, you have current available for sudden and quick motor uh, changes. And they also store current when you have what's called generator action from the motor. The last section converts the DC current back to AC. And we do that so that we can control the frequency and the voltage applied to the motor using volts per hertz or scalar mode, depending on which manufacturer you're talking about. It's doing the same thing though. We're using six transistors and the firing sequence of the transistors and the timing determines the direction of the motor and the speed and so on. Now what I'm going to do in the next video is I'm going to cover the rectification process. So I'm going to spend some time on the converter section and on the DC link. And then when we move on to the uh, output section, there's a device called an IGBT. I will spend some time explaining how the inverter section works.